Hi everyone, this is Dollar. Welcome back. Today I'm going to install the BioCube Protein Skimmer that was made specifically for the BioCube. It has mixed results online if you look at the reviews, but it came with the deluxe kit I got from marineandreef.com. This will probably be the last thing I install in the BioCube for a while as I'm absolutely out of room in there, at least in the back. I am contemplating another wave maker pump but for now this is going to be it so let's get started okay what we have here we've got the skimmer itself here's the cap that goes on top here's a air pump i'm fortunate it doesn't have to go in the water this time but it'll pump air and that's how the protein skimmer works and then we have an airline and the plug the first thing we do is cut about six inches two pieces six inches off you have to assemble the line the instructions kind of show it already pre-assembled, but there's a check valve and an air valve uh, that you have to install. First thing we're going to do is install the valve, control valve, onto one of the six inch sections. And then the other six inch section on the bottom of the valve. Then we have a check valve, looks like that. And there's an inside and an outside printed on it. Right here it says out. So the air is gonna go through it, but the water can't come back in. I believe that's what it's supposed to be. And then the long end goes on the other side of the check valve. So next thing we want to do is connect, this is what we just assembled, this check valve and the valve. Uh, we're going to plug the short end into the pump right here. This is an air pump. Like so. Now we're going to insert the tube into the reactor chamber top comes off. We're going to insert the tube. There's a um, air stone in there. So we're going to push the tube through the bottom. What we want to do is get this tube in that hole. It's pretty tight. So what I'm going to do is use the end of the scissors to help collapse the tube and get it in there. It's taken me several tries. But once you get it, it should slide through pretty easily. Like so and what you want to do is put the air stone that comes with it on here. And then Pull it back in to the tube, like so. And you can put the cap back on. We're going to put the protein skimmer in chamber one right here. Now it does come with a clip, as we have the in tank kind of runoff ramp that goes onto the media rack here. So that way we'll, we're going to stick the protein skimmer in and just have the suction cups connected to the back. It does come with a clip to hang it on the edge of the partition between chamber one and two. Or we can attach uh, suction cups here and here that are designed for any type of tank nano tank because it's a smaller one but that's what I think we're going to do so the suction cups come with the kit and they just stick on these little round tabs like that okay and the lid rotates so you can align them up just right how this is going in the tank 
we'll just run the tube up and out and then stick this down into chamber one. So I disconnected the, the air valve, the check valve, so I can run this through the lid opening. Okay, and so this is gonna go in there like that. We're just gonna drop it down in between the heater and the side of the tank. Like that. So you can see the top of the skimmer here, the round piece. This cap will go right on top of there. Gonna move the wave maker pump wire and it'll go on there like that. The way you can tell it fits right, either hanging on the partition or a suction cup to the back is that the lid will close properly. I'm going to put the pump right here next to the chiller, which is right next to the tank. And the reason is we have the, reach this, the air control valve here controls the amount of air, so it's easy to reach. Okay. And then I'm going to plug it down into the UPS that's down here. I just plugged it in. You can see it start foaming. There. So you want to adjust the air so that the bubbles stay just inside the top of the reactor. That's a little too much. I'm going to go down a little bit. A little. Okay, we're going to try it right there. We'll, we'll tweak it as we go. So with that, I'll put the cap back on. This is the collection cup. So the protein that gets pulled out of the water, the nutrients that get the excess nutrients that get pulled out of the water, will deposit in the tank. This cup, and you just pull this cup off and clean it out. The protein skimmer has been installed. We'll keep an eye on the tank. You can see there's a little bit of algae down the bottom there. It's a little green. Um, we'll keep an eye on that, see if that helps that at all. But other than that, it's working. I will keep an eye on it and I'll post an update. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, one of the things I did want to say is I did plug that directly into the battery backup but I have ordered another switch similar to these here uh, so that this protein skimmer can be turned it off so on and off so it doesn't have to be on all the time just when you want it on uh, sometimes you need to turn it off if you're medicating the tank or doing cleaning things like that so it's best to be switched so for now that is my tank I have added some so I actually got my first mushroom in there. And we have some that are doing really well, some that are kind of closed up. And we're working on that. But I will give you an update as we move along. And for now, thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.